Migration is, for me, it is just people moving from one country to another. It's like everyone can do that. I did that too. Migration to me means that I have to leave my country without wanting to go to another country, starting my life from the beginning. As for the stories for children with parents who I hear, they make me feel very happy that, even if they are children, they have the ability to move forward in their life without thinking about how difficult they are. και οι δυσκολίες οι οποίες πιθανόν να έχουν να τις περνούν σαν ένα μικρό εμπόδιο στον καθημερινό τους περίπατο. I think the most important thing to do to ensure that a child feels safe coming to our own country is to educate our own people because nowadays we live in a world that is more interconnected than ever and nationalism or hatred against other nationals and other religions has no place in today's society. I could go and do an interview to all of these children that had to flee from their from their home country, and all of the all of this I would show it on the news, and people that don't know about these children will know about them. You can't ask them on the border, like, what do you think about this, or what could we make, what could we make better for that, because they'll feel that they have to answer positively or in a certain way to get into the country. So we won't get any honest questions there. I don't feel like we'll get them totally honest anywhere. Honestly, when you don't feel welcomed in a place, it can just lead to very bad things. It can lead to depression, and it's just not nice. So make sure that they are safe, and make sure that everything goes into making them safe, making them sure they have correct uh, facilities, education, and all the needs that are necessary to make them fit into the place. And, um, what would be really important is that we not only give them like the basic necessities to work on them, and stuff, but we also give them space to be free, um, who they are, that express themselves, that they can play, that they can be like free of their problems, right? So usually people in power don't know what exactly they need and want. Well, yeah, they are already gone, but I have the feeling that they are less meaningful than us for the government. While they are also people, they are actually the same as us. But then vind ik toch niet dat de regering recht heeft dat zij niet luisteren naar die kinderen die juist meer hulp hebben, meer hulp nodig hebben dan wij. What I think what happens is it's a democratic country, so the government emphasizes a lot on the votes. So these people, a lot of them don't have votes, so they won't affect the democratic system. Ja, ich vind ganz sicher das Wichtigste ist, dass man diesem Kind und der Familie insgesamt äh, so entgegenkommt, dass es merkt, dass sie wahrgenommen werden. Also ähm, zum Beispiel das Kind, äh, dass es eben nicht abgeschottet wird in irgendwelche Sonderschulen oder sonstigen Einrichtungen nur für Flüchtlinge, sondern dass sie integriert werden aktiv in das Schulleben, hier in, das, in die Gesellschaft und eben da die Möglichkeit bekommen, sich zu integrieren gemeinsam mit anderen Leuten in Kontakt zu treten und wirklich ein, ein soziales Umfeld hier aufzubauen. Und ansonsten natürlich gesundheitlich, also von der, von der Gesundheitsvorsorge gesehen und so weiter, die gleichen Standards hier für, wie für alle anderen Menschen, Mitbürger, dass die gegeben sind und dass man zusätzlich vielleicht auch ein bisschen mehr Nähe und, und Hilfsbereitschaft zeigt, weil diese Menschen ja eben nicht wie wir, sage ich jetzt mal, daran gewöhnt sind oder die Abläufe kennen, sondern eben erstmal ein bisschen, bisschen Unterstützung brauchen, da reinzufinden. Genau. Und das sollte eben so geregelt werden vom, von der Regierung, von den Behörden, dass das, dass das so auch funktioniert.